everybody. I know it's been a long time since I made a video, but uh, well, let's just say the weather got in the way. I had planned on going to Traverse City and Charlevoix uh, for a few days. Unfortunately, it started to rain again. So I stayed home and got some work done around here. One of the things I got done was this. I built a, a cat fence. And it basically is a netting and chicken wire that goes all the way around the yard uh, to keep Frank in the yard. I decided I didn't want him wandering the neighborhood anymore. He came home injured a couple times. So that led me to just decide to keep him inside for a while or for the future. He has already gotten out twice. I have no idea how. <laughs> He's sneaky. So I gotta just uh, keep an eye on him and see how he gets out and tighten up the weaknesses. Uh, let's see what else. Oh, the other thing is I bought a gimbal stabilizer. You might have already noticed that while I'm walking around. The uh, video is much more stable than it used to be. Uh, and I'm liking the thing. I can move the thing, my hand around just like this and the camera stays relatively steady. Um, you also might notice the lapel microphone. I bought a external audio recorder. Hopefully that will help reduce wind noise. I also bought a big fuzzy thing for the microphone to, in, for windy days. Uh, I don't have it on right now because it's not real windy. Uh, the gimbal stabilizer though is pretty good from what I can tell. Um, a lot more complicated than I thought it was. I thought they had little arrow pads that you could just point up, down, side to side to have the camera pointed where you want. And it doesn't. It basically has three different settings, lock and unlock and follow and things like that. You got two different buttons you have to press and you can only tell how it's or what setting it's on based on the color of the LEDs, which is a problem because you can't see the LEDs in the sun. So in order to switch from one thing to another, I have to know exactly what I'm doing and press the right button. Because if I screw it up, I have to find a dark place in order to figure out what the heck I've done. Uh, so we're basically testing everything right now. This is going to be a video to test the uh, effectiveness of the new setup, whether or not I need to make any changes. And today it would be, today is Friday. I have to work this weekend. And then uh, on Monday, I'm thinking of going up to Traverse City overnight and then coming back. Because uh, I got an elderly aunt up there I want to go visit. I've been promising to come visit her. So I might as well go up there and uh, have some fun while I'm there. Uh, also today I'm going to uh, install some 12 volt, uh, excuse me, 12 volt outlets that I purchased in the van. Because I only have one 12 volt outlet up there which is in the cab. And the other one is uh, in the compartment above where the TV's plugged in. So when I'm camping, dry camping without power, like I was uh, during my last video, I don't really have any good place to plug my cell phone in and keep it charged and plug my laptop in and use it and things like that. So I'm gonna rectify that today. But first thing I gotta do today is dump the tanks. I never dumped the tanks after my last trip. I'm sure it's gonna stink to high hell. You really should do that as soon as you get home. I just got too lazy and didn't do it. So now it's been over a week and it's gonna stink. But fortunately I have my own dump station. So let's go ahead and do that.
hush, Frank. No. 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 Okay, so things I bought for power solution were a couple of these. USB. They basically, you cut a hole, you stick that through, you secure it with this little uh, washer here, and then you just connect it with the uh, connections that were included. I'm going to put one here, one over the sink, and one over the bed. So that I have plenty of places to plug in uh, my cell phone and other various USB things, all my camera chargers and things like that, that's all USB. So that's gonna be nice to have. Now, additionally, over the couch, what I'm gonna put is actually this one right here, which has both, if I can get it out of the bag, it's got both the USB one, and it also has your standard 12 volt outlet socket. So it's actually gonna be side by side I you don't stop dropping the parts. They're going to be side by side with this little bracket right here. So I attach the bracket to the underside of the cabinet right about here. I'm thinking right about there. Then I can plug in my cell phone. I can also plug in a little inverter and then plug my, um, my laptop in. So I can have be on the couch working on my laptop and have my phone plugged in all right here. So that's the job now. Let's get started. So my piece of crap audio recorder has decided to just stop working. Brand new, already won't work. So we're back to basics here. Anyway, this is what I bought to cut the hole in the bottom of the cabinet. <laughs> like that. Should just barely cut a big enough hole. One inch and one and one eighth inch. First thing I gotta do is, first thing I gotta do is empty this cabinet. Okay, now that I got the the cabinet cleaned out, first thing I'm gonna do is put this on right about here. Yeah, right there. That way I know exactly where to put the holes. nice and tight. Next thing is going to be to mark exactly where to put the hole. Cat fur on everything. Crying out loud. Just uh, make sure that this is right. It's tight, but it fits. Yep, that's exactly what we wanted. Wow, but 
what a mess. Okay, though. We are through. Okay. Now the next thing is going to be to attach, put these little sockets in there. Oh man, it's hot. Whew. All right, 12 volt, we'll do that first. This one goes right on here, slips right on. Slips right on, I said. Slips right on, there we go. It slips right on, I say. Okay, there's that. Now we got the little nut that goes on it on the inside. Let's make sure remembering which is positive and which is negative. Okay, this has got to be like that. It just pushes up into the air like that. Beautiful. Tighten this over here. There we go. Ow. And USB. There it is, folks. Boom, just like that. That's pretty sweet. It even looks good. Looks like it was always there, huh? Now I just gotta wire it up. Okay, there it is. You got the two wired together, held together with zip ties. And that's it, job is done. Now I just gotta do it two more times. Only difference is the other two only have one of those uh, little round deals and not, not two, so. Onward and upward. Okay, there's the new one. As you can see, it's got a little LED light on it, so that's pretty much gonna be illuminated all the time, anytime it has power. Um, but <laughs> that draws basically no power. That is such a tiny little light, I'm not worried about it. But I put the thing right here, it's a little bit tucked back in there because I wanted it out of the way up here when I put stuff in this cabinet I didn't want the wires and stuff getting damaged so it'll be protected by this box here so so I'm gonna put the next one over my head when I'm lying in bed so my head goes over there I'm gonna put it right above my head um, unfortunately there's the wiring in that cabinet is a little bit more complicated than over here they got clamps and stuff that I have to take apart so I'm not gonna do that today it's getting kind of late I'm tired and it's getting dark. Um, however, I did just get my work schedule for next week. I am not going to Traverse City on Monday like I thought. I am actually working on Monday. And then I've got Tuesday off, which I'll, on Tuesday I'll come back and I'll finish this job and do a couple other things. And then I have Saturday and Sunday off according to the schedule right now. Now there's a real good chance I will also end up having Monday and Tuesday off. So that's, if that happens, that's four days off straight in a row. So I will definitely be going up north and doing something. Uh, Traverse City and Charlevoix most likely so I will see you all next time and hopefully I can get the audio recorder figured out figure out what the heck's going on with it so until then take care hope you all enjoyed the video have a good night